I am really excited about this product called Eat Pastry. Mainly, um, well, there's a bunch of reasons I'm excited. When I first saw it at the Santa Monica Co-op, I just thought, wow, look at this cool packaging. And I just was really drawn to it. I don't even remember if I saw the word vegan at first, because it's kind of like, there's a lot of words in there. So there's a lot going on. I just was really drawn to it. Really cute, comes in this nice little tub. And then once, of course, I found out that it was vegan, I was very excited. Um, so I contacted the company and ended up meeting um, the owner, Jesse, at Whole Foods today. And I don't know, I expected, you know, some older woman or something, but Jesse's like around my age, really sweet, cute girl, and we just had a great conversation. So that made me even more excited about the product because I love supporting um, young entrepreneurs and I especially love supporting businesses that are owned by people that are really nice. Jessie considers herself almost vegan, but she makes this fabulous, completely vegan product. Um, there are some organic ingredients in it. The sugar is fair trade. There is some soy in it, but um, overall this is a healthier version mainly because it's vegan. There are five different types of this cookie dough. Um, this one is peanut butter chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin chocolate chip, cinnamon ginger spice, chocolate chunk, and chocoholic chunk. I just baked them in the oven. It was really easy. They were really, really moist and soft. They've been sitting out of the fridge for a little while. So I just put them on the baking pan, baked them for about 13 minutes at 340 degrees and they turned out perfectly. I'm gonna start by trying them raw. I'm gonna start with this oatmeal raisin chocolate chip. I'm not usually a fan of, of oatmeal raisin, but I'll give this a shot. That's really good. Got a little bit of salt to it. The oatmeal tastes really fresh. Um, chocolate chips, really crunchy. Great, great flavor. Let me try it cooked. Mmm. Mmm, gets better with every bite. Really good, and look at how perfect this turned out. That was a good amount of time to cook it for. Delicious. Next is the peanut butter chocolate chip. I'm sure I'm gonna like this because I love peanut butter and chocolate. That's good. Nice salty peanut butter. Really good bake too. And of course, I think they all turned out perfectly. I feel like such a glutton <laughs> eating all this. This one is um, cinnamon ginger spice. Jessie told me that this is one of the least popular, mainly because she thinks that most people tend to go for like the chocolatey flavors. Well, this is delicious. If you like ginger snaps, you'll like that. It's great bake too. The ginger and cinnamon really come out when you bake it. Chocolate chunk. Wow, that tastes so homemade. Just tastes like really good chocolate chip cookie dough. That is outrageously good. Now the trick with chocolate chip cookies is you want them to sort of taste homemade, but you don't want to taste them to taste too homemade because then you'll be like, why did I buy these? I could have just made them myself. This just gets that right perfect balance. The chocolate was still gooey even though it's been sitting out for half an hour to an hour. And lastly, chocoholic, which I could definitely dub myself as a chocoholic. I love chocolate. It has um, kind of like a alcoholish flavor to it, but I don't see alcohol in any of the ingredients. It must be the vanilla. Yeah, it's got a strong vanilla flavor at first. Mmm. Yes. <laughs> this is like a great combination between a brownie and a, and a cookie. Delicious. This, this one tastes really good when it's baked. Flavors really come out. Mmm. Well, I'm happy. <laughs> I knew there's something about seeing this packaging. It's always, you know, packaging is really important because that's what draws you in. And sometimes you can just imagine the way something's going to taste based on the packaging. So they've done a really good job with this because I just knew it was going to be good. And then once I met Jesse, I had no doubt in my mind. So go out and get this. Um, it's definitely available in Southern California. Um, it will be available in Northern California soon at Whole Foods, Natural Markets, um, and hopefully it'll be available throughout the country because you gotta go try some of this immediately. In fact, why don't you just come over to my place because I have a ton of cookie dough and I have no idea what to do with it. And if you leave me here with this, I'm gonna get really overweight. <laughs> I need to have a party.